All right, guys, as I uh, alluded to yesterday, a groundbreaking, truly groundbreaking study has just been published. It was published uh, yesterday afternoon uh, by uh, the primary author was Adrian Sotomoda, who is an author I, I know personally. Um, and as I mentioned the other day, I did a poll about, uh, you know, if, if you're on a low carb diet, what is driving high cholesterol? And the questions were um, saturated fat consumption, uh, increased body fat, decreased body fat, or protein consumption. And what this data shows, and this is a meta-analysis of 41 individual randomized controlled trials, so a huge, huge uh, subset, a cohort here, uh, which confirms and shows that saturated fat is not driving elevations in LDL cholesterol, at least in low-carb populations, which is extremely, extremely important uh, evidence and what is actually driving uh, that high cholesterol. Well, it turns out it is actually low BMI or low body fat. The leaner you get and you go on a low carb diet, you're more likely to see elevations in total and LDL cholesterol and subsequently also ApoB. Uh, this has tremendously important implications. You know, for one, most people that are you know, smaller BMI, leaner, tend to be metabolically healthier. Now, this is in line with the so-called lipid energy model. It is in line with the so-called lean mass hyperresponder, but it shows it at a much larger degree. Now, there have been now, now probably close to four or five papers that have been studied that, that show this, but never to this scale. So it is becoming increasingly clear that at least in the setting of low-carbohydrate diets, elevated cholesterol is most tied to Lean, leanness and, and low, low body fat and low BMI, which should make us consider, is there something, you know, that doesn't line up with the, with the, with the, with the, with the narrative that, you know, LDL cholesterol is, is an indicator of poor health. And again, most people that are in poor health tend to be obese and overweight. Now, some people will say, well, being lean is now bad for you. Perhaps maybe we'll get that argument or something, or we should fatten up so we can decrease our uh, cardiovascular risk. I can see people actually sort of maybe even trying to trying to trying to uh, push that narrative along. Now, again, you couple that to the emerging data showing that these very lean people with high elevated LDL cholesterol may not be at additional may not be at an additional risk for cardiovascular disease, as per uh, the the pending Matt Budoff study, where the preliminary data seems to suggest that it is truly groundbreaking, and this is something that. I think can, can, you know, I mean, it, it provides nuance where I think nuance is needed, you know, and again, it's not to say that everybody with high LDL cholesterol is, you know, has got to get out of jail free card. And it doesn't mean that everyone on a low carb diet can just, you know, uh, ignore these things, but it is painting a clear and clear picture that again, when it comes to certainly the role of saturated fat and LDL cholesterol, it does not seem to play a role in low carb people um, who incidentally eat a lot of saturated fat. I, I certainly do. I eat plenty of saturated fat. Probably 30% of my calories come from saturated fat. But this is truly, truly groundbreaking information. Um, it is something that I think should be shared widely. Um, and I hope you guys can, can do that. And so this, this paper, again, one of, the, you know, one of the interesting points is, you know, in the graph that I showed, um, you know, as BMI gets lower, LDL cholesterol goes up, but conversely, as BMI gets higher after a BMI of 35, the so-called class two obesity, LDL actually goes down on a low carb diet, you know? So that's interesting. So we see this sort of tipping point, you know, and sort of people in the middle that, that sort of uh, 25 to 35 BMI range, the, the, the direction of the LDL cholesterol is not significant for most people. And again, there are always going to be exceptions here, guys. There's going to be some people that are obese where their LDL went up. There's going to be some people in the middle where their LDL went up and vice versa. It can go the other way. But in general, it is not, I repeat, not saturated fat driving LDL cholesterol, which is what we've all been told for years and years. But it is degrees of leanness, at least in the low-carb population, which you know most of us are. So interesting to know. Let me know what you guys think about this. Is it surprising to some of you guys? Is it, is, it, is it new information for you guys? It certainly should shake things up quite a bit. I think, like I said, 2024 is going to be a year of a lot of uh, groundbreaking research and more to come, more to come, guys. And I'll, I'll, I'll certainly um, 
we'll let you know about it as I find out. And I've, I've got, you know, fortunately, I, I know a lot of these researchers personally, so I get a little bit of advance notice on some of this stuff. So it gives me a little bit of excitement. So I'm pretty excited to share this with you guys. Anyway, the link to the study is in the description of this video if you'd like to read it and check it out for yourself, perhaps share it with somebody you think it might be valuable to, perhaps your physician. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.